another thing that I just wanted to clear up, I, I was ready to go off on this like crazy at the beginning of the show, but, uh, but I made a few, a few phone calls. Um, and that is whether Washington, D.C., which has the last primary in the nation, uh, sometime in the middle of June, as I recall, maybe it's even July. Uh, no, it's June 14th, uh, June 14th, that uh, there will only be one person on the Democratic ballot, and that would be Hillary Clinton. Uh, it turns out that, well, that, yeah, I mean, this is the news. I'm, I'm looking at a piece in the Daily Mail. Uh, Hillary Clinton supporters try to boot Bernie Sanders off the D.C. ballot for filing late, even though both candidates missed the deadline, thanks to the D.C. Democrats. Uh, the Democratic Party, both the Clinton campaign and the Sanders campaign, paid their filing fees to the Democratic Party of Washington, D.C., and the Democratic Party of Washington, in time, and you know with the signatures and all the stuff that was necessary, and the Democratic Party of D.C. then filed for both of them, apparently, the next day, which was a day too late. So, arguably, neither of them should be on the ballot, but this, this guy, this political activist, uh, Robert V. Brannon, Branham, uh, a former school, school teacher who uh, stood outside the Washington Post building with a bullhorn yelling at the paper's editorial board recently, locally remembered. I don't know if it's recent or not. Anyhow, uh, he, he has, he's a Hillary Clinton activist, and so he specifically asked that Bernie be taken off the ballot. So I called the, uh, the chairwoman of the, uh, her office of the uh, uh, city council, and they said, don't worry, Bernie's going to be on the ballot, and here's a phone number to call. They gave me a phone number to call. I called, and it was the local D.C. Uh, Democratic Party. And I said, you know, hi, I'm, my name is Tom Hartman. I live here in the district. I'm registered to vote here. Uh, will I be able to vote, uh, you know, for Bernie Sanders or for that matter, even Hillary Clinton in the uh, in the primary? And they said, yeah, don't worry about it. It was a screw up. Uh, we're going to take care of it. Uh, the, you know, we're working with the city council. This is this is a non-issue. So I'm taking them at their word. And uh, I know a lot of people have gotten very cranked about this, uh, you know, over on Twitter and on the uh, in the blogosphere and whatnot. And uh, from the research that I've done, or at least, you know, the, the, the couple of phone calls I made, both the head of the city council and the head of the, or at least the spokesperson for, uh, I'm not even sure it was an official spokesperson, the person who answered the phone at the Democratic Party said, and both of them clearly have gotten a lot of calls about this, <laughs> given how quickly they knew exactly what it was I was talking about, that it, this is a non-issue, don't worry about it. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.